The very first modern beauty pageant was staged by none other than P.T. Barnum in 1854, and they didn't last long. Since then, national pageants set out to make an effort to ensure that no pageant ever appears stereotypical again. That's quite a concept. Nowadays, pageants may be multicultural or racially specific, and include such competitions as Miss Chinese International, Miss Black America, and even Miss Indian America. At the top of them all is the International Miss Universe Competition. The first Miss Universe pageant was held in New York City in 1952. Each year the competition attracts millions of viewers who eagerly tune in to see the extravagantly dressed women discuss everything from their ideal dates to world peace. In 2010, the Miss Universe competition hit an all-time ratings low. Should it be any sort of surprise? The amount of criticism that these pageants reinforce a variety of negative values for young women is daunting. Critics oppose beauty pageants for teaching women and girls that they are to be valued primarily for their physical appearance, and more are quick to point out that pageants have not worn well with the see times. see anything wrong with having beauty pageants in general. I think that as a girl, when you're young, you always look in the mirror and you always dress up and you want to look beautiful. So as you grow up, there's nothing wrong with being in beauty pageants. It's just that the rules that come with beauty pageants are insane. And aside from having to be born with a vagina, you also have to be single. You're not allowed to be married. You're not allowed to have kids. You have to be particular age. So they're really advocating for a very particular kind of woman, which is so offensive. But I think the concept of wanting to walk across a stage and feel beautiful, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If I want to walk across stage and be beautiful, I should be allowed to without all of these rules, though. Like, everyone should be allowed to. And, and you know, if you want to wear a bathing suit and be proud in it, then that's great. But you need to let everyone be able to do that. In this day and age, we are so over the fact that you have to be a size 2 model. You have to look a certain way. You have to act a certain way. If you want, if a woman wants to have a child, wants to have a family, and they still consider themselves beautiful, then all the power to them. I think that that's even more beautiful and that we should look at that now in this day and age especially. It's excluding a huge amount of people. And I mean, beauty pageants have been called out for years for being racist, for being sexist. Um, and now we're seeing transphobia, we're seeing homophobia, we're seeing everything. It's really disgusting. Uh, well, I think the whole beauty pageant thing in general is really outdated. And uh, it's just, it's about inequality. Like, how can you not allow somebody to participate um, if we are trying to create uh, or encourage a society that's, you know, comfortable with one another and accepts everybody, this is just, it goes against all of that, everything that we've been working for for years. They're not changing according to our times. Like, unfortunately, there is still a lot of, as we was busy being said, homophobia, you know, um, discrimination against trans people. Unfortunately, that's not changing, but our mentality slowly is. I mean, compare like the 1950s to now, it, it is more inclusive. So I think that you know, big organizations out there like the Miss Universe organization, I don't know what it's called, should be changing accordingly as well. Anybody should be able to qualify to be in a beauty pageant. Nobody should be kicked out. Nobody should be looked upon um, as different because we're all females. We're all beautiful. We're all just trying to fulfill PG something Barnum's in Barnum's original in pageant was put to an end by popular opinion. The public viewed the pageants as trivial events whose interpretation required no scholarly effort. How much has changed since? It's okay to celebrate beauty, but it is not okay when firm restrictions are put in place as to how that beauty is celebrated. In the case of Canadian former Miss Universe contestant Jenna Talakova, who was disqualified for being a transgendered woman, the argument is clear. The Miss Universe organization, which is jointly owned by NBC Universal and business tycoon Donald Trump, ought to take note. If pageants want to stay relevant and continue to participate in modern society, they should be inclusive and not seek to impose their ideals through gender discrimination. For State Radio, I'm Dan Campbell.